Hey there and welcome back to this video series about Firebase and our CRUD application. We created the uh, create and the read from the CRUD and uh, we've prepared the delete and update. So let's see if we can implement the update in this video series. So let's see if we can implement the update in this video. First off, uh, I just want to adjust this uh, the way that uh, the reviews are presented because they're uh, centered right now. And uh, I'm going to make a small change in the front end because we had uh, the header that basically contains everything right now. And it should only contain the image as well as the H4, the header. So we're going to take the div, the ending div down here, and moving it up above the form. So this is only centered. Now the rest is on its own, should be left uh just as we can see here okay so now we have this view here with the form and the reviews but nothing works right now so if we go back to the code here we can see that uh, we had this review template and we had a bunch of uh, event listeners and we need to attach a new one here and recall that we had the ul on our list that contains all the reviews. So we need to attach an event listener to this UL so we can listen on what the user uh, presses on because we made this template with the two buttons and either delete or update. And we have attached an edit or delete to the class so we can see if we get the, the class list from the object, we can see if it is a delete or edit. But first, let's take the reviews uh, that we have there. Add event listener. We're going to look for a click. And then we need to make a function here. Or oh. oh, no, actually, we don't need to really. Uh, we could type the code directly in here, but let's make a small convenience method called update uh, review. That will just pass along the E as the event here. So we make a function takes the E there and what should it do? So first we're going to take the review note that we're working with and we can use the E to get the target of that and then we can get the parent node. So if we click the button uh, that this is going to respond to, then we can see that it is the uh, E target is the button, and then we can get the parent node that will actually actually get us the review node that we're working on the LI. So uh, now we need to make the check here because actually we don't know if this is an update or a delete. So we also need to afterwards to do the same function that takes uh, E right here. And this could be the delete because we don't really know what the user clicked on. We need to check for this in the method down here. And the way we do this is that we can write target class list uh, contains edit. So if the target, the button, if that contains uh, edit in the class list, as we saw down here, that means it must be it must be the update button. So now we uh, we know what to do now. So we take the full name and we take the value, and then we take the review node. We use a query selector to get the. Uh, let's see gonna explain it right after here. So we're gonna take the basically if we should take it visually first here, we we're gonna take the values from the full name and message and put them in the form so we can work with them, so we can update them. So we're gonna take uh, this node that we're working on that the user clicked on and we're gonna take the uh, the full name, the inner text of the full name. This means the value, the inner text of this um, and also the value of the message. 
and it's going to put that into our form and the form was called full name uh, and also message that was the text area so i'm just going to copy that there and we need to adjust it for the message like that whoop oh things are going wrong here so we also need the hidden ID and we also have this in the review node and uh, let's see if we need anything more yep all right let's see so let's go back to the app here and refresh it let's see what happens if we click the button here we can see that it actually puts the data yeah into the text fields and the text area but it looks a little bit weird because it was actually in the uh, in the header lines there and uh, one way we can get rid of this is to use a function called materialize and then update text fields so if we refresh it, whoop, so now it's going to jump up there automatically. So it's not going to stand right up there in the text. It's just going to whoop, jump up there. So now we've taken the data here and basically loaded it onto the form so we can work with this. And uh, if we try to actually change something in there and hit update, we can see it actually updates and it updates in Firebase. So we got this one there, right? Okay, so that is an update. So now we have implemented uh, the U in, in CRUD and we can see it reloads. It reloads the application and uh, it actually doesn't need to do this. Whoop. See if we can get this one here. See pixel aura. So it's ha it has updated the review. And one way that we can avoid this reloading because it doesn't need to do this is that we can write a small piece of code here in the submit. Let's call e prevent. Yep. So that is gonna prevent reloading. And because we can see how it's going to behave if we refresh the app here, if we take this right here, let's write this. Okay, awesome pizza. And we hit update. Boom, 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 boom. Then we can see that it probably updated it. See, awesome pizza here. It updated it, but it didn't update it on the front end here. So that is kind of weird. If I refresh it here, it says awesome pizza. If we go back here and says update, it doesn't reflect down here. But it doesn't re it doesn't reload it. So we can do something else here to get this to work. We can write uh, the last piece of code in the update process. And it's not a lot, it's just basically where we take the reviews ref and we attach an event listener to that. Child changed. So this means that when something changes in Firebase, we can do something. We can do something uh, really, really uh, good here. So we're gonna take the review node. document get element by ID so we take the data and the key and review node inner HTML okay so first let's see if this works and I'm gonna explain it just afterwards Right, so let's see here. We got updated there, and if we hit the update and remove it, whoop, 
now it will reflect and this is because when something changes in firebase this is gonna listen to any changes in firebase so when something changes in firebase the web page is automatically gonna uh, run this code so it's gonna get the um, get the element from this data here meaning that it is this id and it's gonna get this uh, review and then it's gonna uh, actually put in the new data from Firebase that we have in the value and it's going to put it into the review template and present it. So if, let's say for instance, I go to Firebase now and I run, let's see if I can do this with pizza. Let's say something, another user modifies or updates something. Uh, so like we do this, I haven't refreshed anything in my app but we can see it updated it automatically. So this is the code that listens for any changes in Firebase. will actually refresh my data. So that is the concept of the real-time database, that it will actually uh, update uh, any app or mobile app with the new data from Firebase. Right, so we implemented the update. We uh, implemented this uh, update review we had to check if it was an edit or a delete and uh, we still use the same function here when we actually have to run the update up here we use the same form okay so next video we're gonna finish off by implementing the D in CRUD the delete so we can also delete uh, reviews all right. Thanks for watching and have fun with this. Bye-bye.